Well, good evening. Let's just have a quick look at the Snug Pack Jungle Bag. I've been using this for over a year, and I thought it was about time that I did sort of an update. My thoughts of the bag, its performance, good, good and bad features, as it were. On the whole, very positive. Um, as you can see, decent pack size. This is comp not compressed whatsoever. If I ratchet it down, I can get it to half this size. I know in the advertising they say packed to the size of a coconut. Well, that's fairly accurate. It, you know, yes, it would be down to about that size. It weighs less than a kilo. Um, I've just stuck this on the scales out of interest, and it was 950, including the stuff sack. So for a synthetic bag, that's great. Nice weight and nice size. Right, I'll get him out. Let's have a look at the other features. Well, the first point I suppose I should mention, it's sold as the jungle bag. And I think a lot of people think of a jungle bag as only for really you know, hot, sweaty weather, shall we say. I don't find that that's the case with this. The sort of recommended comfort temperature for it is seven degrees. Now, obviously that will depend where you live. How often do you have seven degrees overnight? For my location down on the coast, we're fairly mild and I find myself using this from late spring into early autumn. So probably a good, you know, four or five months of the year, this is plenty warm enough. I say it will come down very much to your local area, seven degrees, how often you get that. But I have used this as late as mid-October in a hammock camp and been toasty warm, no problem at all. So, you know, don't get put off by the term jungle bag, thinking, why would I buy one? I can only use it for three weeks of the year sort of thing. It's more versatile than you think. Right, to just go over the basics, it's a rectangular bag, which is nice. Nice big square foot end to it. Because as much as the mummy bags are fine, um, some people find them restrictive. Obviously you've got more room here. And also if it is warmer weather, you want that bit of room to move about if you're getting a bit warm. You don't want this too enclosed feeling. Other things that I like is the fact that it's got two zips. It's got one that just goes across the bottom on its own. Now, if it is really hot weather and you're a little bit uncomfy, of course you can just open the bottom zip, stick your feet out. Because I don't know <laughs> whether it's all up here, but I find at least if you get your feet cooler, the rest of you sort of feels cooler. I don't know if that's rubbish or not, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, you've got zip at the bottom, and of course you've got your main zip full length to the side, which is a double-ended zip you can open from either end. The other thing, of course, this gives you is the fact that it's very warm weather. You can unzip both zips, open it out into a blanket if you just want something light over you, especially if it was in a tent or something like that. Um, you'd effectively get a blanket about the size of a double bed. It'd be that sort of size, because it's, I suppose, about 90 centimetres across, something like that. Sort of, sort of, yeah, two and a half feet, nearly three feet. So I opened up, think of the size of covering a standard double bed. It's about how big it opens up. So it doubles as a blanket, which is nice. The other thing, which... I wasn't sure how I'd get on with, but I do actually quite like, is, probably can't see from there, this is the front edge, which is, you know, across here, in this right hand corner where the main zip finishes off, there's a little pocket, and in this little pocket is a bug net. Now I've only had to use it a couple of times, 
Um, I'm quite lucky. I don't get pestered with the bugs too much. Um, but essentially there's a zip right around the opening. So you can sit, zip your mesh in there. So if you've got a hammock that doesn't have a bug net attached to it, you don't need one. You can just zip this piece in and, it, and it'll keep them off you. Um, I have got a separate bug net for my big hammock, but it's quite a bulky thing if you're going to pack it and take it. If I'm using this bag, I don't need it because that little mesh jobby in there, that's enough. Although it's a rectangular sleeping bag, you've got the mummy style hood. You have got strings to gather it if you do want to, you know, close it down in on yourself. I tend not to. Um, good fabrics. Antibacterial type fabrics, it's meant to be. It's meant to deal with, you know, sweaty conditions and stopping your bag getting stinky. Um, how good that is, I don't know. All I can tell you is that after using this bag for over a year, it don't stink. <laughs> so I've never washed it. So that's got to be a, it's got to be a plus. Maybe there is something in it. The fabrics are nice too. I must say the, the inner and outer shell are, are quite different. This, uh, I don't know whether it's slightly sort of like almost shower proof. It, it, it feels a bit thicker, that type of material. The inside though is a lovely soft material. That's, that's, that's really nice. Um, all in all, I'd say it is an excellent bag and that they're great value too. That's the other thing. Depends where you're looking, of course. I paid about 30 pounds for mine, something like that. I didn't get it direct from Snugpack though. Um, I actually found an online retailer selling it cheaper than Snugpack was selling it direct. So it's all worth, always worth having a, a good look round before you make these purchases. But for the money, I think it's an absolute excellent choice. It really is. Right, let's pop him back in his bag. Um, it actually goes in quite easily. All I tend to do is sort of like fold it in half lengthways and roll it up and then just poke it in. It goes in quite easy. Um, just for fun now, I'm going to ratchet this down and see how small I can get it. I'll be back in a minute. Right, here we go. It would probably go a little bit more, but I didn't want to put too much stress on the stuff sack, really. I didn't want to break it. Um, but yeah, it's still quite impressive. And I, I think it's, it's fair where in their advert they say the size of a coconut. A generous coconut, but a coconut all the same. That is pretty small. I've got to grab my hat there. Give you some sort of scale, or maybe that just shows it a big head. <laughs> but uh, yeah, certainly the smallest packing sleeping bag that I've got, I've got nothing to come anywhere close to that pack size. Even my lightweight uh, down bag is probably double that size and 500 grams heavier. So I think in conclusion, if you want something that's light, packs small, and the weather's decent, I think you could do a lot worse. I've been really impressed with it. And in all honesty, I bought it just for the very hot weather. I've used it way more than I thought it would. I just really like it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.